Genesis chapter 21 And the Lord came to Sarah as he had said, and did to her as he had undertaken. And Sarah became with child, and gave Abraham a son when he was old, at the time named by God. And Abraham gave to his son, to whom Sarah had given birth, the name Isaac. And when his son Isaac was eight days old, Abraham made him undergo circumcision, as God had said to him. Now Abraham was a hundred years old when the birth of Isaac took place. And Sarah said, God has given me cause for laughing, and everyone who has news of it will be laughing with me. And she said, Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would have a child at her breast? For see, for see, I have given him a son now when he is old. And when the child was old enough to be taken from the breast, Abraham made a great feast. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian playing with Isaac. So she said to Abraham, Send away that woman and her son. For the son of that woman is not to have a part in the heritage with my son Isaac. And this was a great grief to Abraham because of his son. But God said, let it not be a grief to you because of the boy and Hagar his mother. Give ear to whatever Sarah says to you. Because it is from Isaac that your seed will take its name. And I will make a nation of the son of your servant woman. Because he is your seed. And early in the morning Abraham got up and gave Hagar some bread and a water skin, and put the boy on her back, and sent her away. And she went, wandering in the waste land of Beersheba. And when all the water in the skin was used up, she put the child down under a tree, and she went some distance away, about an arrow flight, and seating herself on the earth. She gave way to bitter weeping, saying, Let me not see the death of my child. And the boy's cry came to the ears of God. And the angel of God said to Hagar from heaven, Hagar, why are you weeping? Have no fear. Come, take your child in your arms, for I will make of him a grin. Then God made her eyes open, and she saw a water spring, and she got water in the skin, and gave the boy a drink. And God was with the boy, and he became tall and strong. And he became a bowman, living in the waste land. And while he was in the waste land of Paran, his mother got him a wife from the land of Egypt. Now at that time, Abimelech and Phicol, the captain of his army, said to Abraham, I see that God is with you in all you do. Now, then, give me your oath, in the name of God, that you will not be false to me or to my sons after me, but that as I have been good to you, so you will be to me and to this land where you have been living. And Abraham said, I will give you my oath. But Abraham made a protest to Abimelech because of a water hole which Abimelech's servants had taken by force. But Abimelech said, 
I have no idea who has done this thing. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and never gave, gave them to Abimelech, and I had no knowledge of it till this day. And the two of them made an agreement together. And Abraham put seven young lambs of the flock on one side by themselves. Then Abimelech said, What are these seven lambs which you have put on one side? And he said, Take these seven lambs from me as a witness that I have made this water whole. So he gave that place the name Beersheba, because there the two of them had given their oaths. So they made an agreement at Beersheba, and Abimelech and Phicol, the captain of his army, went back to the land of the Philistines. And Abraham, after planting a holy tree in Beersheba, gave worship to the name of the Lord, the Eternal God. Genesis chapter 22 Now after these things, God put Abraham to the test and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And he said to him, Take your son, your dearly loved only son Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah, and give him as a burned offering on one of the mountains of which I will give you knowledge. And Abraham got up early in the morning, and made ready his ass, and took with him two of his young men, and Isaac, his son. And after the wood for the burned offering had been cut, he went on his way to the place of which God had given him word. And on the third day, Abraham, lifting up his eyes, saw the place a long way off. Then he said to his young men, Keep here with the ass, and I and the boy will go on and give worship and come back again to you. And Abraham put the wood for the burned offering on his son's back. And he himself took the fire and the knife in his hand. And the two of them went on together. Then Isaac said to Abraham, my father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, We have wood and fire here. But where is the lamb for the burned offering? And Abraham said, God himself will give the lamb for the burned offering. So they went on together. They came to the place of which God had given him knowledge. And there Abraham made the altar and put the wood in place on it. And having made tight the bands round Isaac his son, he put him on the wood on the altar. But the voice of the angel of the Lord came from heaven, saying, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And stretching out his hand, Abraham took the knife to put his son to death. And he said, Let not your hand be stretched out against the boy to do anything to him. For now I am certain that the fear of God is in your heart, because you have not kept back your son, your only son, from me. And lifting up his eyes, Abraham saw a sheep fixed by its horns in the brushwood. And Abraham took the sheep and made a burned offering of it in place of his son. And Abraham gave that place the name Yahweh Yair, as it is said to this day. In the mountain the Lord is seen. And the voice of the angel of the Lord came to Abraham a second time from heaven, saying, I have taken an oath by my name, says the Lord. 
because you have done this and have not kept back from me your dearly loved only son, that I will certainly give you my blessing and your seed will be increased like the stars of heaven and the sand by the seaside. Your seed will take the land of those who are against them and your seed will be a blessing to all the nations of the earth because you have done what I gave you orders to do. Then Abraham went back to his young men and they went together to Beersheba, the place where Abraham was living. After these things, Abraham had news that Milcah, the wife of his brother Naur, had given birth to children. Buzz the oldest, and Buzz his brother, and Kemuel, the father of Aram, and Jehazo, and Pildash, and Jidlaf, and Bethuel. Bethuel was the father of Rebekah. These eight were the children of Milcah and Nahor, Abraham's brother. And his servant Rumah gave birth to Teba and Gaham, and Tahash and Makkah. Genesis chapter 23 Now the years of Sarah's life were a hundred and twenty-seven. And Sarah's death took place in Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham went into his house, weeping and sorrowing for Sarah. And Abraham came from his dead and said to the children of Heth, I am living among you as one from a strange country. Give me some land here as my property so that I may put my dead to rest. And in answer the children of Heth said to Abraham, My lord, truly you are a great chief among us. Take the best of our resting places for your dead. Not one of us will keep back from you a place where you may put your dead to rest. And Abraham got up and gave honor to the children of Heth, the people of that land. And he said to them, If you will let me put my dead to rest here, Make a request for me to Ephron, the son of Zohar, that he will give me the hollow in the rock named Machpelah, which is his property at the end of his field. Let him give it to me for its full price as a resting place for my dead among you. Now Ephron was seated among the children of Heth, and Ephron the Hittite gave Abraham his answer in the hearing of the children of Heth. And of all those who came into his town, saying, And of all those who came into his town, saying, No, my lord, I will give you the field with the hollow in the rock. Before all the children of my people will I give it to you for a resting place for your dead. And Abraham went down on his face before the people of the land. And Abraham said to Ephron, In the hearing of the people of the land, If only you will give ear to me, I will give you the price of the field, take it, and let me put my dead to rest there. So Ephron said to Abraham, My lord, give ear to me. The value of the land is four hundred shekels. What is that between me and you? So put your dead to rest there. And Abraham took note of the price fixed by Ephron in the hearing of the children of Heth. 
in the hearing of the children of Heth, and gave him four hundred shekels in current money. So Ephron's field at Machpelah near Mamre, let him give it to me for its full price as a resting place for my dead among you. Now Ephron was seated among the children of Heth. And Ephron the Hittite gave Abraham his answer in the hearing of the children of Heth. And of all those who came into his town, saying, and of all those who came into his town, saying, No, my lord, I will give you the field with the hollow in the rock. Before all the children of my people will I give it to you for a resting place for your dead. And Abraham went down on his face before the people of the land. And Abraham said to Ephron, in the hearing of the people of the land. If only you will give ear to me. I will give you the price of the field, take it, and let me put my dead to rest there. So Ephron said to Abraham, My lord, give ear to me. The value of the land is four hundred shekels. What is that between me and you? So put your dead to rest there. And Abraham took note of the price fixed by Ephron in the hearing of the children of Heth, in the hearing of the children of Heth, and gave him four hundred shekels in current money. So Ephron's field at Machpelah near Mamre. Genesis chapter 24. Now Abraham was old and far on in years, and the Lord had given him everything in full measure. And Abraham said to his chief servant, The manager of all his property, come now. Put your hand under my leg, and take an oath by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that you will not get a wife for my son Isaac from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I am living, but that you will go into my country and to my relations and get a wife there for my son Isaac. And the servant said, If by chance the woman will not come with me into this land, Am I to take your son back again to the land from which you came? And Abraham said, Take care that you do not let my son go back to that land. The Lord God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the land of my birth, and made an oath to me, saying, To your seed I will give this land, he will send his angel before you and give you a wife for my son in that land. And if the woman will not come with you, then you are free from this oath. Only do not take my son back there. And the servant put his hand under Abraham's leg and gave him his oath about this thing. And the servant took ten of his master's camels and all sorts of good things of his master's and went to Mesopotamia, to the town of Ner. And he made the camels take their rest outside the town by the water spring in the evening at the time when the women came to get water. And he said, O Lord, the God of my master Abraham, let me do well in what I have undertaken this day, and give your mercy to my master Abraham. See, I am waiting here by the water spring, 
and the daughters of the town are coming out to get water. Now may the girl to whom I say, Let down your vessel and give me a drink. And who says in answer, Here is a drink for you and let me give water to your camels. May she be the one marked out by you for your servant Isaac. So may I be certain that you have been good to my master Abraham. And even before his words were ended, Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, who was the wife of Nair, Abraham's brother, came out with her water vessel on her arm. She was a very beautiful girl, a virgin, who had never been touched by a man. And she went down to the spring to get water in her vessel. And the servant came running to her and said, Give me a little water from your vessel. And she said, Take a drink, my lord. And quickly letting down her vessel onto her hand, she gave him a drink. And having done so, she said, I will get water for your camels till they have had enough. And after putting the water from her vessel into the animal's drinking place, she went quickly back to the spring and got water for all the camels. And the man, looking at her, said nothing, waiting to see if the Lord had given his journey a good outcome. And when the camels had had enough, the man took a gold nose ring half a shekel in weight, and two ornaments for her arms of ten shekels weight of gold, and said to her, Whose daughter are you? Is there room in your father's house for us? And she said to him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, Nair's wife. And she said, we have a great store of dry grass and cattle food. And there is room for you. And with bent head the man gave worship to the Lord. And said, Praise be to the Lord. The God of my master Abraham. Who has given a sign that he is good and true to my master by guiding me straight to the house of my master's family. So the girl went running and took the news of these things to her mother's house. Now Rebekah had a brother named Laban. And he came out quickly to the man at the water spring. And when he saw the nose ring and the ornaments on his sister's hands, and when she gave him word of what the man had said to her, then he went out to the man who was waiting with the camels by the water spring. And he said to him, Come in. You on whom is the blessing of the Lord? Why are you waiting outside? For I have made the house ready for you and a place for the camels. Then the man came into the house, and Laban took their cords off the camels and gave them dry grass and food. And he gave to him and the men who were with him water for washing their feet. And meat was put before him, but he said, I will not take food till I have made my business clear to you. And they said, Do so. And he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has given my master every blessing, and he has become great. 
he has given him flocks and herds and silver and gold, and men servants and women servants and camels and asses. And when Sarah, my master's wife, she gave birth to a son, to whom he has given all he has. And my master made me take an oath, saying, Do not get a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I am living. But go to my father's house and to my relations for a wife for my son. And I said to my master, What if the woman will not come with me? And he said, The Lord, whom I have ever kept before me, will send his angel with you, who will make it possible for you to get a wife for my son from my relations and my father's house. And you will be free from your oath to me when you come to my people. And if they will not give her to you, you will be free from your oath. And I came today to the water spring, and I said, O Lord, the God of my master Abraham, if it is your purpose to give a good outcome to my journey, let it come about that, while I am waiting here by the water spring, if a girl comes to get water, and I say to her, Give me a little water from your vessel, and she says, Take a drink, and I will get water for your camels. Let her be the woman marked out by the Lord for my master's son. And even while I was saying this to myself, Rebekah came out with her vessel on her arm, and she went down to the spring to get water. And I said to her, Give me a drink. And straight away she took down her vessel from her arm, and said, Take a drink, and I will get water for your camels. And questioning her, I said, Whose daughter are you? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, the son of Nair, and Milcah his wife. Then I put the ring on her nose and the ornaments on her hands. And with bent head I gave worship and praise to the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, by whom I had been guided in the right way to get the daughter of my master's brother for his son. And now say if you will do what is good and right for my master or not in order that it may be clear to me what I have to do. Then Laban and Bethuel said in answer, This is the Lord's doing, it is not for us to say yes or no to you. See, here is Rebekah, take her and go, and let her be your master's son's wife. As the Lord has said, And at these words, Abraham's servant went down on his face and gave praise to the Lord. Then he took jewels of silver and jewels of gold and fair robes and gave them to Rebekah. And he gave things of value to her mother and her brother. Then he and the men who were with him had food and drink and took their rest there that night. And in the morning he got up and said, Let me now go back to my master. But her brother and her mother said, Let the girl be with us a week or ten days, and then she may go. And he said, Do not keep me. The Lord has given a good outcome to my journey. Let me now go back to my master.
And they said, We will send for the girl and let her make the decision. And they sent for Rebecca and said to her, Are you ready to go with this man? And she said, I am ready. So they sent their sister Rebekah and her servant with Abraham's servant and his men. And they gave Rebekah their blessing, saying, O sister, may you be the mother of thousands and ten thousands, and may your seed overcome all those who make war against them. So Rebekah and her servant women went with the man, seated on the camels. And so the servant took Rebekah and went on his way. Now Isaac had come through the wasteland to Beer Lahai Roy, for he was living in the south. And when the evening was near, he went wandering out into the fields, and lifting up his eyes he saw camels coming. And when Rebekah, looking up, saw Isaac, she got down from her camel, and said to the servant, Who is that man coming to us through the field? And the servant said, It is my master. Then she took her veil, covering her face with it. Then the servant gave Isaac the story of all he had done. And Isaac took Rebekah into his tent, and she became his wife. And in his love for her, Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Genesis chapter 25 And Abraham took another wife named Keturah. She became the mother of Zimran and Jokshan and Medan and Midian and Ishbak and Shua. And Jokshan became the father of Sheba and Dedan. And from Dedan came the Asurim and Ledashim and Lumim. And from Midian came Epha and Epher and Hanok and Abida and Eldal. All these were the offspring of Keturah. Now Abraham gave all his property to Isaac. But to the sons of his other women he gave offerings and sent them away while he was still living into the east country. Now the years of Abraham's life were a hundred and seventy-five. And Abraham came to his death, an old man, full of years, and he was put to rest with his people. And Isaac and Ishmael, his sons, put him to rest in the hollow rock of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, near Mamre, the same field which Abraham got from the children of Heth. There Abraham was put to rest with Sarah, his wife. Now after the death of Abraham, the blessing of God was with Isaac, his son. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, the son of Abraham, whose mother was Hagar the Egyptian, the servant of Sarah. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their generations. Ishmael's first son was Nebaioth, then Kedar and Edbeel and Mibsum, and Mishma and Duma and Massa, Hadad and Tema, Jeder, Naphish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names and their towns and their tent circles. Twelve chiefs with their peoples.
and the years of Ishmael's life were a hundred and thirty-seven. And he came to his end, and was put to rest with his people. And their country was from Havilah to Shur, which is east of Egypt. They took their place to the east of all their brothers. Now these are the generations of Abraham's son Isaac. Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel the Aramean of Paddan Aram, and the sister of Laban the Aramean, to be his wife. Isaac made prayer to the Lord for his wife because she had no children. And the Lord gave ear to his prayer. And Rebekah became with child. And the children were fighting together inside her, and she said, If it is to be so, why am I like this? So she went to put her question to the Lord. And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your body, and two peoples will come to birth from you. The one will be stronger than the other, and the older will be the servant of the younger. And when the time came for her to give birth, there were two children in her body, and the first came out red from head to foot like a robe of hair. And they gave him the name of Esau. And after him his brother came out, gripping Esau's foot, and he was named Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when she gave birth to them. And the boys came to full growth. And Esau became a man of the open country, an expert bowman, but Jacob was a quiet man, living in tents. Now Isaac's love was for Esau, because Esau's meat was greatly to his taste. But Rebekah had more love for Jacob. And one day Jacob was cooking some soup when Esau came in from the fields in great need of food. And Esau said to Jacob, Give me a full meal of that red soup, for I am overcome with need for food. For this reason he was named Edom. And Jacob said, First of all give me your birthright. And Esau said, Truly, I am at the point of death. What profit is the birthright to me? And Jacob said, First of all, give me your oath. And he gave him his oath, handing over his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave him bread and soup. And he took food and drink and went away caring little for his birthright. Genesis chapter 26 Then came a time of great need in the land, like that which had been before in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, at Gerar. And the Lord came to him in a vision and said, do not go down to Egypt. Keep in the land of which I will give you knowledge. Keep in this land, and I will be with you and give you my blessing. For to you and to your seed will I give all these lands, giving effect to the oath which I made to your father Abraham. I will make your seed like the stars of heaven in number, and will give them all these lands. Because Abraham gave ear to my voice and kept my words, my rules, my orders, and my laws. 
So Isaac went on living in Gerar. And when he was questioned by the men of the place about his wife, he said, She is my sister, fearing to say. She is my wife, for, he said, The men of the place may put me to death on account of Rebekah, because she is very beautiful. And when he had been there for some time, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looking through a window, saw Isaac playing with Rebekah his wife. And he said to Isaac, It is clear that she is your wife. Why then did you say, She is my sister? And Isaac said, For fear that I might be put to death because of her. Then Abimelech said, What have you done to us? One of the people might well have had connection with your wife, and the sin would have been ours. And Abimelech gave orders to his people that anyone touching Isaac or his wife was to be put to death. Now Isaac, planting seed in that land, got in the same year fruit a hundred times as much, for the blessing of the Lord was on him. And his wealth became very great, increasing more and more, for he had great wealth of flocks and herds and great numbers of servants, so that the Philistines were full of envy. Now all the water holes which his father's servants had made in the days of Abraham had been stopped up with earth by the Philistines. And Abimelech said to Isaac, Go away from us, for you are stronger than we are. So Isaac went away from there and put up his tents in the valley of Gerar, making his living place there. And he made again the water holes which had been made in the days of Abraham his father, and which had been stopped up by the Philistines. And he gave them the names which his father had given them. Now Isaac's servants made holes in the valley and came to a spring of flowing water. But the herdmen of Gerar had a fight with Isaac's herdmen, for they said, The spring is ours. So he gave the spring the name of Esek, because there was a fight about it. Then they made another water hole, and there was a fight about that. So he gave it the name of Sidna. Then he went away from there, and made another water hole, about which there was no fighting. So he gave it the name of Rehoboth, for he said, now the Lord has made room for us, and we will have fruit in this land. And from there he went on to Beersheba. That night the Lord came to him in a vision, and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Have no fear, for I am with you, blessing you. And your seed will be increased because of my servant Abraham. Then he made an altar there, and gave worship to the name of the Lord. And he put up his tents there, and there his servants made a water hole. And Abimelech had come to him from Gerar with Ahazath his friend, and Phicol, the captain of his army. 
And Isaac said to them, Why have you come to me? Seeing that in your hate for me you sent me away from you. And they said, We saw clearly that the Lord was with you. So we said, Let there be an oath between us and you. And let us make an agreement with you that you will do us no damage, even as we put no hand on you. And did you nothing but good, and sent you away in peace. And now the blessing of the Lord is on you. Then he made a feast for them, and they all had food and drink. And early in the morning they took an oath one to the other, then Isaac sent them away, and they went on their way in peace. And that day Isaac's servants came to him and gave him word of the water hole which they had made, and said to him, We have come to water. And he gave it the name of Sheba. So the name of that town is Beersheba to this day. And when Esau was forty years old, he took as his wives Judith, the daughter of Beri the Hittite, and Basemath, the daughter of Elon the Hittite. And Isaac and Rebekah had grief of mind because of them. Genesis chapter 27 now when Isaac was old and his eyes had become clouded so that he was not able to see, he sent for Esau, his first son, and said to him, My son, and he said, Here am I. And he said, See now, I am old, and my death may take place at any time. So take your arrows and your bow, and go out to the field and get meat for me. And make me food, good to the taste, such as is pleasing to me, and put it before me, so that I may have a meal and give you my blessing before death comes to me. Now Isaac's words to his son were said in Rebekah's hearing. Then Esau went out to get the meat. And Rebekah said to Jacob, her son, Your father said to your brother Esau in my hearing, Go and get some rose meat and make me a good meal, so that I may be full, and give you my blessing before the Lord before my death. Now, my son, do what I say. Go to the flock and get me two fat young goats, and I will make of them a meal to your father's taste. And you will take it to him, so that he may have a good meal and give you his blessing before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, but Esau my brother is covered with hair, while I am smooth. If by chance my father puts his hand on me, it will seem to him that I am tricking him, and he will put a curse on me in place of a blessing. And his mother said, Let the curse be on me, my son. Only do as I say, and go and get them for me. So he went and got them and took them to his mother. And she made a meal to his father's taste. And Rebekah took the fair robes of her oldest son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the young goats on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. 
and she gave into the hand of Jacob, her son, the meat and the bread which she had made ready. And he came to his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, who are you, my son? And Jacob said, I am Esau, your oldest son. I have done as you said, come now. Be seated and take of my meat, so that you may give me a blessing. And Isaac said, How is it that you have got it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord your God made it come my way. And Isaac said, Come near so that I may put my hand on you, my son, and see if you are truly my son Esau or not. And Jacob went near his father Isaac, and he put his hands on him, and he said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he did not make out who he was, because his hands were covered with hair like his brother Esau's hands, so he gave him a blessing. And he said, Are you truly my son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Put it before me, and I will take of my son's meat, so that I may give you a blessing. And he put it before him, and he took it. And he gave him wine, and he had a drink, about which there was no fighting. So he gave it the name of Rehoboth, for he said, Now the Lord has made room for us, and we will have fruit in this land. And from there he went on to Beersheba, that night the Lord came to him in a vision, and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Have no fear, for I am with you, blessing you, and your seed will be increased because of my servant Abraham. Then he made an altar there, and gave worship to the name of the Lord, and he put up his tents there. And there his servants made a water hole. And Abimelech had come to him from Gerar, with Ahazath his friend, and Phicol, the captain of his army. And Isaac said to them, Why have you come to me? seeing that in your hate for me you sent me away from you. And they said, We saw clearly that the Lord was with you. So we said, Let there be an oath between us and you, so that you may give me a blessing. And Isaac his father said to him, Who are you? And he said, I am your oldest son, Esau. And in great fear Isaac said, Who then is he who got meat and put it before me? And I took it all before you came, and gave him a blessing, and his it will be. And hearing the words of his father, Esau gave a great and bitter cry, and said to his father, Give a blessing to me, even to me, O my father. And he said, Your brother came with deceit, and took away your blessing. And he said, Is it because he is named Jacob that he has twice taken my place? For he took away my birthright, and now he has taken away my blessing. And he said, Have you not kept a blessing for me? And Isaac answering said, 
but I have made him your master, and have given him all his brothers for servants. I have made him strong with grain and wine. What then am I to do for you, my son? And Esau said to his father, Is that the only blessing you have, my father? Give a blessing to me, even me. And Esau was overcome with weeping. Then Isaac his father made answer and said to him, Far from the fertile places of the earth, and far from the dew of heaven on high will your living place be. By your sword will you get your living, and you will be your brother's servant. But when your power is increased, his yoke will be broken from off your neck. So Esau was full of hate for Jacob because of his father's blessing. And he said in his heart, The days of weeping for my father are near. Then I will put my brother Jacob to death. Then Rebekah, hearing what Esau had said, sent for Jacob, her younger son, and said to him, It seems that your brother Esau is purposing to put you to death. So now, my son, do what I say. Go quickly to Haran, to my brother Laban, and be there with him for a little time till your brother's wrath is turned away, till the memory of what you have done to him is past and he is no longer angry. Then I will send word for you to come back. Are the two of you to be taken from me in one day? Then Rebekah said to Isaac, My life is a weariness to me because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob takes a wife from among the daughters of Heth, such as these, the women of this land, of what use will my life be to me? Genesis chapter 28 Then and Isaac sent for Jacob, and blessing him, said, Do not take a wife from among the women of Canaan. But go to Paddan Aram, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and there get yourself a wife from the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. And may God, the ruler of all, give you his blessing, giving you fruit and increase, so that you may become an army of peoples. And may God give you the blessing of Abraham to you and to your seed, so that the land of your wanderings, which God gave to Abraham, may be your heritage. So Isaac sent Jacob away, and he went to Paddan Aram, to Laban, son of Bethuel the Aramean, the brother of Rebekah, the mother of Jacob and Esau. So when Esau saw that Isaac had given Jacob his blessing and sent him away to Paddan Aram to get a wife for himself there, blessing him and saying to him, Do not take a wife from among the women of Canaan. And that Jacob had done as his father and mother said, and had gone to Paddan Aram. It was clear to Esau that his father had no love for the women of Canaan. So Esau went to Ishmael and took Mahalath, the daughter of Abraham's son Ishmael, the sister of Nebaioth, to be his wife in addition to the wives he had. 
So Jacob went out from Beersheba to go to Haran. And coming to a certain place, he made it his resting place for the night. For the sun had gone down. And he took one of the stones which were there, and putting it under his head, he went to sleep in that place. And he had a dream, and in his dream he saw steps stretching from earth to heaven, and the angels of God were going up and down on them. And he saw the Lord by his side, saying, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham your father. And the God of Isaac, I will give to you and to your seed this land on which you are sleeping. Your seed will be like the dust of the earth, covering all the land to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. You and your seed will be a name of blessing to all the families of the earth. And truly I will be with you and will keep you wherever you go, guiding you back again to this land. And I will not give you up till I have done what I have said to you. And Jacob, awaking from his sleep, said, Truly, the Lord is in this place, and I was not conscious of it. And fear came on him, and he said, This is a holy place. This is nothing less than the house of God and the doorway of heaven. And early in the morning Jacob took the stone which had been under his head and put it up as a pillar and put oil on it. And he gave that place the name of Bethel, But before that time the town was named Luz. Then Jacob took an oath and said, If God will be with me, and keep me safe on my journey, and give me food and clothing to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then I will take the Lord to be my God. Genesis chapter 29 Then Jacob went on his journey till he came to the land of the children of the east. And there he saw a water hole in a field, and by the side of it three flocks of sheep. For there they got water for the sheep. And on the mouth of the water hole there was a great stone. And all the flocks would come together there. And when the stone had been rolled away, they would give the sheep water and put the stone back again in its place on the mouth of the water hole. Then Jacob said to the herdmen, My brothers, Where do you come from? And they said, From Haran. And he said to them, Have you any knowledge of Laban, the son of Naur? And they said, We have. And he said to them, Is he well? And they said, He is well. And here is Rachel his daughter coming with the sheep. Then Jacob said, the sun is still high, and it is not time to get the cattle together. Get water for the sheep and go and give them their food. And they said, We are not able to do so till all the flocks have come together, and the stone has been rolled away from the mouth of the water hole. Then we will get water for the sheep. While he was still talking with them, 
Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she took care of them. Then when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, coming with Laban's sheep, he came near, and rolling the stone away from the mouth of the hole, he got water for Laban's flock. And weeping for joy, Jacob gave Rachel a kiss. And Rachel, hearing from Jacob that he was her father's relation, and that he was the son of Rebekah, went running to give her father news of it. And Laban, hearing news of Jacob, his sister's son, came running and took Jacob in his arms and kissing him, made him come into his house. And Jacob gave him news of everything. And Laban said to him, Truly, you are my bone and my flesh. And he kept Jacob with him for the space of a month. Then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my brother, are you to be my servant for nothing? Say now, what is your payment to be? Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the older was Lee, and the name of the younger was Rachel. And Lee's eyes were clouded. But Rachel was fair in face and form. And Jacob was in love with Rachel, and he said, I will be your servant seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And Laban said, It is better for you to have her than another man. Go on living here with me. And Jacob did seven years' work for Rachel. And because of his love for her, it seemed to him only a very little time. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife so that I may have her, for the days are ended. And Laban got together all the men of the place and gave a feast. And in the evening he took Lee, his daughter, and gave her to him, and he went into her. And Laban gave Zilpah, his servant girl, to Lee, to be her waiting woman. And in the morning Jacob saw that it was Lee. And he said to Laban, What have you done to me? Was I not working for you so that I might have Rachel? Why have you been false to me? And Laban said, In our country we do not let the younger daughter be married before the older. Let the week of the bride feast come to its end, and then we will give you the other in addition. if you will be my servant for another seven years. And Jacob did so. And when the week was ended, Laban gave him his daughter Rachel for his wife. And Laban gave Rachel his servant girl Bilhah to be her waiting woman. Then Jacob took Rachel as his wife and his love for her was greater than his love for Lee. And he went on working for Laban for another seven years. Now the Lord, seeing that Lee was not loved, gave her a child, while Rachel had no children. And Lee was with child and gave birth to a son to whom she gave the name Reuben. 
For she said, The Lord has seen my sorrow. Now my husband will have love for me. Then she became with child again, and gave birth to a son, and said, Because it has come to the Lord's ears that I am not loved, he has given me this son in addition, and she gave him the name Simon. And she was with child again, and gave birth to a son, and said, Now at last my husband will be united to me, because I have given him three sons, so he was named Levi. And she was with child again, and gave birth to a son, and she said, This time I will give praise to the Lord. So he was named Judah. After this she had no more children for a time. Genesis chapter 30 Now Rachel, because she had no children, was full of envy of her sister. And she said to Jacob, If you do not give me children, I will not go on living. But Jacob was angry with Rachel and said, Am I in the place of God, who has kept your body from having fruit? Then she said, Here is my servant Bilhah, go into her, so that she may have a child on my knees, and I may have a family by her. So she gave him her servant Bilhah as a wife, and Jacob went into her. And Bilhah became with child, and gave birth to a son. Then Rachel said, God has been my judge, and has given ear to my voice, and has given me a son, so he was named Dan. And again Bilhah, Rachel's servant, was with child, and gave birth to a second son. And Rachel said, I have had a great fight with my sister, and I have overcome her. And she gave the child the name Naphtali. When it was clear to Lee that she would have no more children for a time, she gave Zilpah, her servant, to Jacob as a wife. And Zilpah, Lee's servant, gave birth to a son. And Lee said, It has gone well for me. And she gave him the name Gad. And Zilpah, Lee's servant, gave birth to a second son. And Lee said, Happy am I, and all women will give witness to my joy. And she gave him the name Asher. Now at the time of the grain cutting, Reuben saw some love fruits in the field and took them to his mother Lee. And Rachel said to her, Let me have some of your son's love fruits. But Lee said to her, Is it a small thing that you have taken my husband from me? From me, and now would you take my son's love fruits? Then Rachel said, You may have him tonight in exchange for your son's love fruits. In the evening, when Jacob came in from the field, Lee went out to him and said, Tonight you are to come to me, for I have given my son's love fruits as a price for you. And he went into her that night.
And God gave ear to her, and she became with child, and gave Jacob a fifth son. Then Lee said, God has made payment to me for giving my servant girl to my husband. So she gave her son the name Issachar. And she said, God has given me a good bride price. Now at last will I have my husband living with me. For I have given him six sons, and she gave him the name Zebulun. After that she had a daughter, to whom she gave the name Dinah. Then God gave thought to Rachel, and hearing her prayer, he made her fertile. And she was with child, and gave birth to a son. And she said, God has taken away my shame. And she gave him the name Joseph, saying, May the Lord give me another son. Now after the birth of Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Let me go away to my place and my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have been your servant. And let me go, for you have knowledge of all the work I have done for you. And Laban said, if you will let me say so, do not go away. For I have seen by the signs that the Lord has been good to me because of you. Say then what your payment is to be, and I will give it. Then Jacob said, You have seen what I have done for you, and how your cattle have done well under my care. For before I came you had little, and it has been greatly increased. And the Lord has given you a blessing in everything I have done. But when am I to do something for my family? And Laban said, What am I to give you? And Jacob said, Do not give me anything but I will again take up the care of your flock if you will only do this for me. Let me go through all your flock today, taking out from among them all the sheep which are marked or colored or black, and all the marked or colored goats, these will be my payment. And so you will be able to put my honor to the test in time to come. If you see among my flocks any goats which are not marked or colored, or any sheep which is not black, you may take me for a thief. And Laban said, Let it be as you say. So that day he took all the he goats which were banded or colored, and all the she goats which were marked or colored, or had white marks, and all the black sheep, and gave them into the care of his sons, and sent them three days' journey away. And Jacob took care of the rest of Laban's flock. Then Jacob took young branches of trees, cutting off the skin so that the white wood was seen in bands, and he put the banded sticks in the drinking places where the flock came to get water. And they became with young when they came to the water. And because of this, the flock gave birth to young which were marked with bands of color. These lambs Jacob kept separate. And he put his flock in a place by themselves, and not with Laban's flock. 
and whenever the stronger ones of the flock became with young, Jacob put the sticks in front of them in the drinking places so that they might become with young when they saw the sticks. But when the flocks were feeble, he did not put the sticks before them, so that the feebler flocks were Laban's and the stronger were Jacob's. So Jacob's wealth was greatly increased. He had great flocks and women servants and men servants and camels and asses.